like being single or just alone to get into myself love ain't easy it can be crazy games that we play sometimes the rules have to change who i don't want to treat her cruel but i like gonna steam my baby what am i gonna do i guess i'll do what i gotta do break her heart i don't want to see her cry but it's hard to live a lie so i gotta do what i gotta do break her heart though i love the girl i know but the best thing is for us to be apart what's good everybody it's your boy Sir House of Jazz, yes, ticka ticka jazz, jazz, back again with another one, two, three, classic, no doubt about it. Come on now, do what I gotta do, and just break her heart. Oh my goodness, by Sir Ralph Trezvan. You know Trezvan. Sorry about that, Trezvan. <laughs> uh, again, you know, original lead singer of New Edition, and you know, stepped out to his solo project back in the day, and um. This was one of the singles off his first album. Um, what can I say, man? Love this song. Love this song. Classic, classic, classic. All right, so we're in the key of A major, and we're going to go ahead on and break this one down. So we're going to start with the intro of the song. Okay, it's adjusting my headphones there. Okay. So what you got is that... Um, <clears throat> the uh, Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Okay. There's two different versions of this song, and it does make a difference because if you look at the version of the song that is on the music video, these chords will not match it. When Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis did the music for the video, they literally switched the chords. Uh, a lot of the chords, actually. They switched the, the bottom notes, like where it's D minor 9 in the original on the album version. In the video, they play the F major 7. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even put the D in this. So that's what I'm saying. So this version is based off the version that is on the album. So if you're going to listen to it, you can go to Spotify and you'll hear the original version. If you're looking for it on YouTube, don't listen to the music video, the official music video, because these chords, you'll be like, whoa, he is just totally off. But in all honesty, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, they changed the song. So... Uh, this is the original version that was off the CD, all right? I, I, I'm glad I remember to tell y'all that. Okay, now, back to what we were doing. Okay. Uh, so we have um, A major, double A on the left hand, E, A, and uh, C sharp on the right hand. Uh, right? And then you go to... Now, this is nothing but just an E major chord over A. So don't worry about the A major 7 sus 2. Just It's an E major chord over A. That's the easiest way to know, look at it. So double A, you stay on the A on the left hand and your right hand. E, G sharp, and B. Then your next chord is F sharp minor over A. So again, you still holding that double A on the left hand. Right hand is F sharp, A, and C sharp. Um, and then you're going to come back down to E over A again. So again, you still got the A on your left hand. And your right hand is back to E major, which is E, G sharp, um, B. Now you're going to stay on the A. And you're going to take your right hand and you want to play C sharp minor. Okay. When you play that C sharp minor over A, as you can see, it's actually just an A major seven. But uh, for me, I put on a chord sheet, I actually put C sharp minor over A just because it's just easier to just look at it that way, you know. But it is an A major seven. But anyway, I right, C sharp, <coughs> E, and G sharp. And you can kind of, 
once you hit the chord, you can go da, hit E, and then you want to come down to D major seven. Wow, we have finally get to get off that A on our left hand and move over to D. So <laughs> double D on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp. Then play the chord again. You play D major seven again. And then you want to go to a B minor seven over E. Or you probably do that one. B minor seven over E. You can do either, either inversion. We'll do this inversion. Double E on the left hand. A, B, D, and F sharp. Okay? So let's take a look at that. That's the first half of the introduction. You have... Uh, okay what i forgot to tell you was um you got the uh, when you get to that f sharp minor over a you got you you do want to include that dun, 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 like that just go play the chord and then go d E and then um, go back to that E chord because that if you listen to the track you'll hear that you'll hear so all that is was just act playing D E and just come back to um, E like that okay so again So that's the first half of the intro. Then the, the intro continues with an E over A chord. And then it quickly jumps over to a C sharp minor 7. So you have... So let's do... Like that. It goes just like that. It goes... All right. So that first one, the E major over A. Double A on the left hand. G sharp, B, E. So one, two... All right, then you just all you, and all you gotta do is just go from A on the left hand to C sharp. You keep your right hand the same, and there go your C sharp minor seven. So you have. Then your next chord will be F sharp minor seven, double F sharp on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And then you got B minor seven. Let's do it this way b minor seven double b on the left hand f sharp a b d on the right hand keep your right hand exactly the same take your left hand put it on g and then your g major nine chord okay and then what you want to do is take your left hand and put it on e okay and keep that same chord now you have a b minor seven over e Okay, so you have, oh, well, let me do it the way I showed it to you. Okay, that's so far. We're still in the intro. Then you go to A major again, double A on the left hand, E, A, C sharp, then you go to F sharp minor seven, double F sharp on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Then you do your B minor seven again, double B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, D on your right hand. Take your left hand, put it on double G, and keep your right hand the same. There go your G major nine. And then you can keep your right hand the same again and take your left hand and put it on E. All right. And that's B minor seven over E. Okay. So that, that section is pretty much like the other section, except you just don't do the E over A to C sharp. This time you just go to A major. Oh, this is still the intro. And then you play that. Uh, 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 and 
and then that's it. You don't do it. So you do the intro, the the very first couple of chords I showed you, but you stop. You don't have to play the whole cycle again. You'll go the A major, and then you'll do the E major over A again. And then you'll do the F sharp minor over A and play your melody. Do, 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 D, E, and then come down to E major over A. And that's it. You stop right there. After that, you do the verse. So I know that was a lot of chords just for the introduction of the song. So let me just play the introduction all the way through and then we'll get to the meat of the song. All right. So the entire introduction. And then you go to the verse. Okay, so now we're on the verse now. So the verse, you, you have an A major chord, double A on the left hand, E, A, C sharp on the right hand. And then all you got to do is take your left hand and go down to F sharp. Keep your right hand the same. And then you get F sharp minor seven. Okay. And then after that, you can just play a D major seven. Okay. Double D on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp. And then you can do your B minor seven. Double B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, D on the right hand. Take your left hand and put it on E. Okay, and that's a B minor seven over E. And then you do those exact five chords again. So this is the whole verse. I've been feeling lately like being single or just alone. To get into myself and do it again. Love ain't easy, great in these crazy games we play. Sometimes the rules have to change. Okay. Now we want a pre-course. And if you want, you can go. If you want to play that, you can play A, B, C, D. You can go. Then you want to go to a D minor nine chord. Double D on the left hand. F, A, C, E on the right hand. Who I don't want to treat. E minor seven, double E on the left hand, E, G, B, and D on the right hand. Treat her cruel. And then you want to go to A minor seven, double A on the left hand, G, A, C, E on the right hand. And then you want to go back to that D minor nine again. Steam, baby. So again, that's double D on the left hand, face on your right hand, which is F A C N E, right? Spells face. And then this time you want to play. Now it's really a um, it's an E sus four chord, right? But um, for me, it's just easier to write it as an A sus two over E. I don't know why it's just easier for me to remember it. And you know, I, I make these chord sheets so that I can remember it when I'm teaching it to you. So that's what's on the chord sheet. <laughs> Even though it is, it, it is an E sus four, but I wrote it as an A sus two chord over E. All right, double E on the left hand, A B E on the right hand, and you want to hit this chord like five times. What am I gonna? And now, if you want, you can stay on that chord and hit it six times. I think on the recording, it just goes, what am I going to do? And, you know, you can just stay there. But I like to just throw in this B minus seven 
just to go with the vocals, even though I did not hear that on the recording. I like to go, what am I going to do? So if you want to throw this in there, that's just a B minor seven and it's over E. OK, so you can do keep the double E. And if you want, you can do A, B, D, F sharp. I just like hearing that, you know, what am I going to do? But again, on the recording, what am I going to do? I think that you can get away. So that's up to you. All right. So the pre-chorus. Who I don't want to treat her cruel, but I like honesty, my baby. What am I going to do? I guess I'll. Now we're on a chorus. Do what I got to do. So you have a C sharp minor seven, double C sharp on the left hand, G sharp B E on the right hand. Do what I got to do. Break her heart. F sharp minor seven, double F sharp on the left hand, F sharp A, C sharp E on the right hand. I don't want to see a crowd. Now this is B minor seven, double B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, D on the right hand. And then all you got to do is just take your left hand and go down to G. It's hard to live a lie. And when you do that, that's your G major seven. And then you keep your right hand the same. This is just like the intro again. And just bring it over to E. Okay, and that's a B minor seven over E. All right, and then you're gonna go back to C sharp minor seven. Do what I gotta do and break her. And then you're gonna play your F sharp minor seven again. But this time you're gonna add this chord. You're gonna go. And you wanna throw that chord. This is the only difference from the first um, time we just played those chords. We're adding a F sharp seven. You wanna go like that so all i did was from the f sharp minor seven let me spell it out again double f sharp left hand f sharp a c sharp e and all you gotta do is take this a and bring it up to a sharp okay you do that the second time and then the rest of the chords are the same though i love the girl i know you got your b minor seven again but the best thing is for us so you got to G major nine and then put it over E again. Us to be. And then you play the intro again. Uh, 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 uh. All right. So that whole chorus is. Um, Guess I'll do what I gotta do, break her heart. I don't wanna see her cry, but it's hard to live a lie. So I gotta do what I gotta do, break her heart. Though I love the girl, I know, but the best thing is for us to be apart ah, sweetie do okay you do that intro when you do the chorus after the first verse okay now you, then you go back to the verse again you play the verse you do that pre-chorus with the D minor 9 again who tree her crew that part then you'd sing the chorus again okay so once you do the chorus do what i now when you do, go to the chorus the second time after the second verse you don't have to play the intro again you don't go ah. so you'll go do what i gotta do break her heart though i love the girl i know but the best thing is for us to be apart. And you just go right to the A major. That's the second ending. And then all you do is play the pre-chorus. Now you play the pre-chorus again. And this is the bridge. Oh, baby, now do what I gotta do. 
So this is the bridge of the song, but it's the exact same chords from the pre-chorus. So this is that. So all you're doing is you can hit the A, B, C, D, and then you got your D minor nine again, and then E minor seven, A minor seven, and just keep doing it over and over again. Um, on the recording, one, two, three, four, five. They do it five times. So you got, oh, baby, now do what I got to do. That's one time. Oh, baby, now do what I got to do. I got this two times. I got to break a little heart. Yeah, something like that. Do what I got to do. That's four times. Do what I gotta do. Ooh, ooh. Do, do, do. That's five times. And then do what I. And then on the sixth time, you come out of it. But I don't wanna see her cry, baby. So what am I gonna do? Oh, I do what I gotta do. That's the whole song right there. You just come out of the bridge the same way you come out of the pre-chorus. You um you hit the A sus two over E. You can do that five times. What am I gonna? And if you want to hit it again, that's fine. Or if you want to jump up to for the word do, what am I gonna do? If you want to go up there, just A, B, D, and F sharp with the E. And that's the whole song. You just go right back to the chorus. So you got it. So that's it right there. So hopefully that helps you out. Have fun with that one. That is definitely a classic. Love that song. All right. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.